What's up? Welcome back to Theme Park of Wizard. Um, repping out Kobe today, of course. <laughs> R.I.P. Kobe, we just found some kind of breaking news. Um, it's more of a rumor, so take this with a grain of salt until Universal, of course, confirms everything. But, um, the source is pretty, pretty accurate. I got it from Inside Universal. And Inside Universal was the first one to report that Hard Rock Cafe was closing in January. Um, before Universal confirmed it, so... Again, pretty good source because they've gotten about 99% of their things right on uh, it's a rumor site for Universal. And the rumor is Universal Studios Hall will close, close um, the Walking Dead attraction on March 3rd. That's literally in a month. Um, and let's look at the facts. So the Walking Dead is a haunted house walkthrough attraction. Um, it usually counts as a maze as, the, as part of Halloween Hornets. And then it sits right next to the just about done Sequel Life for Pets attraction and the newly renamed Pets Place. And it makes sense because that um, area has Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, Sequel Life for Pets now, and it's been renamed Pets Place. So it's transformed to a family friendly area. So it doesn't make sense to have The Walking Dead, a horror attraction, right next to. Um, a family attraction so that makes sense and I feel like so that's why it gives this rumor even more credibility um the, it's kind of shocking that it's so close although when Inside Universal reported that Hard Rock was closing in January they reported that in December so was, again that month difference it was really close late in the near future near future um so yeah wouldn't be surprised to see Rocking Dead close on March 3rd but this actually follows my idea I had on a previous video I had um, an idea of how Universal is going to add more attractions. It's in my um, Universal Parks and Improvements video, How to Improve Universal Studios Hollywood. And one of the ways I um, showed how to improve the park was to add more attractions, both in the upper lot and lower lot. And I um, said one of the attraction spots was the Walking Dead attraction. I looked on the map, on the Google map, and... It's really, um, there's a nice attraction plot there. I mean, yes, there's stores and stuff, um, like the Starbucks takes up some space, but if you take out the Starbucks space, there's a nice, decent plot for a nice, again, another dark ride, family dark ride, um, type of attraction, or even, like, spinner or something to influence that, again, that new, yeah. what I call Illumination Corner or Illumination Land coming, um, that's now forming here at Universal Studios Hollywood with the, because, see, uh, Despicable Me and, um, Secret Life Pets are both illumination properties. And they're right next to each other, right next to each other, forming, like, a little illumination land. And the Walking Dead property is a nice size for plot for yet another attraction. Plus then, you know, across from Walking Dead and the Starbucks, you have the Kung Fu Panda, which is another, or DreamWorks Theater, which currently has the Kung Fu Panda. Uh, attraction and that's another um, family friendly attraction so it really does make sense how this horror kind of adult more adult teenager adult um, type of property right smack dab in the middle of this family friendly row of uh, attractions here so it makes sense that it is closing as I it was definitely an inev inevitable and I was always actually to be honest hoping it's closing because during Horror Nights and during non-Horror Nights, it's not scary. I've walked through it and it's just kind of weak. And also, there's never a line for it. So, it's popularity. Popularity has definitely dropped um, since it came about 2016. So, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing it go. And I feel like not a lot of people would, see, would mind seeing it go either. <laughs> Considering that my groups of friends that have gone to Horror Nights the past couple of nights, a couple of years, um, had no intention of going into The Walking Dead unless um, it was like a, we're on our, we did everything else, we did everything else, and then it was like a five minute wait, and we're just, all right, it's the last one, let's go. It's on the way out anyway, right? So I wouldn't mind seeing it go and place with something much, much better and family friendly. Um, but what do you guys think? If this rumor is true, and the uh, Walking Dead is closing March 3rd, um, what IP or what type of attraction um, would you want to see? There could be a show, could be, a ride, or you may want to see a new restaurant or something um, in that space. 
on this new show or ride or even a restaurant, what IP do you want to be themed to? Another Illumination property, another uh, something like Dream, another DreamWorks property. What would you like to see? I personally like to see Shrek make a return to the park. So I guess, uh, another Shrek ride, like a dark ride for Shrek or like a family coaster for Shrek would be really, really cool in my opinion. But comment your thoughts below on what you think and please like this video. It really helps. Thank you very much to everyone who liked my previous video, the Spider-Man video. Um, has nine likes. Incredible. Um, please share the video. And please subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates and more, um, in the park updates, go to the park. Um, I have a universal pass, so I go to the park quite frequently, um, every other week or so to provide updates. And, um, we'll be definitely checking this, if it does close, the construction on what was going to replace it next. So please subscribe to my channel for updates on that, other Universal updates, Disney updates, Six Flags, and Knots, and SeaWorld updates as well. And whoever your team is for the Super Bowl tomorrow, good luck. I'm personally rooting for the 49ers because I'm a California boy. So, but good luck to the Chiefs fans out there. Good luck to the 49ers and have a great, great weekend. Stay tuned for videos about every couple of days.